slowly spins around. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, I am back from LPS Con West Coast 2019. I was actually back a long time ago, but, you know, I kind of for, um, not forget. I was just really busy. I was a bit busy and I kind of forgot <laughs> about, um, uploading this video, but I am back and, you know, I've settled in back in my house and I've settled in with my LPS and stuff like that. So I had such an amazing time at LPS Con. I met so many nice people and it was just amazing. It was like the best time of my life. Um, I met the VIPs and all this fun stuff. So before I start talking about all this crazy stuff, I will be showing you guys a couple clips that I did. I didn't do too many. I wanted to do so much more like clips and show you guys a lot more things. But I was so concentrated, like I didn't, I want to enjoy myself, you know? Like, I kinda want, I want to enjoy myself and you know, have fun, trade with people, talk. And I didn't really want to like film a lot. I wanted to film a lot, but I kinda forgot because I was too into the LPS. <laughs> but I made a new friend there. I forget her name. I think it's Phoenix Puppy Lover something. Uh, link is in the description to her name. All right, and she might comment on this video, so yeah, you'll get some uh, some things. So yeah, let's get started with the few clips and pictures that I took. Like the 
basics and then some stuff that isn't necessarily what you need, but you can add more creative effects. So you really need an LPS. <laughs> acrylic paint, paint brushes, and a good varnish. So with acrylic paint, people always ask me what brand I use. I just use Apple Barrel. It is a really good brand. It's cheap, it's easy to use, it's easy to find. And with acrylic paint, um, it doesn't really matter what kind you use. I would just recommend getting one that has a low amount of latex in it because paint is made with latex and latex can dry and get sticky. So you don't want your custom paint sticky or tacky and you really want that smooth base. So I highly recommend one that's like a matte finish to help get your LPS to look right. Uh, a varnish is something that covers the entire LPS and seals in the paint so it won't get sticky or ruined. And it keeps it really, really safe and it creates a finish that you guys like. If you want like a glossy finish, it's a glossy varnish. If you want more of a matte finish, it's a matte varnish. And when it comes to paintbrushes, it doesn't really matter what kind you use. This is up to you as an artist on what paintbrushes you like to use. Some people like more stiff brushes. Some people like softer brushes. It just depends up to you as an artist. I would just recommend getting one that's really good to get those tiny details and maybe one that's kind of bigger than the entire base coat. So these are some things that you don't necessarily need but can help expand your creative options. So sculpting clay is really popular. I highly recommend it. It adds some really nice features Fluffy, you can grab wings, horns, whatever. It really expands that creativity if that base LPS figure doesn't have enough details on it for you. And of course, you know, there's glitter, beads, red, so whatever you can use, you know, it really helps add that creativity to your customs. And again, as I said earlier, every artist has their own preference on what brands or items they like to use. So I would recommend getting something just because someone else uses it. You have to find what works for you. That's what I've done. You know, not everything is going to work the same. So it's really up to you as an artist to discover what you like and what you use to create. Alright, so this is a list of all the brands I use for the most part. Again, you don't have to get these, um, but it's basically what I use. I use fake or damaged LPS because they're easier to get, easier to find. I don't like using real LPS because I feel like real LPS can be used by collectors for collecting, for videos. I don't want to ruin with them. You know, that's the four fake LPS. Customizers had to find those really damaged LPS. And it was kind of difficult to customize because there wasn't a lot of options. You had to take it up inside your collection in order to paint it. So thankfully, we have a ton of fake LPS out there now that you can customize. I know it doesn't always want to be a when you get a fake, but you can customize it. So that's a good thing about them. So again, I, I use Apple Barrel paint brushes from all over the place, more Amazon, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, wherever. I just have like a huge uh, cup just full of paint brushes that I like to choose from. And these are some of the other brands I use. Um, this is the sculpt I use, the varnish, all that fun stuff. And then, of course, glitter. I love putting glitter on, yes, it makes it really sharp. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed those few clips and pictures, and now I'll be showing you guys everything that I got at LPSCon, but before we start, um, I actually want to show you guys something. So um, you know how I told you guys that I would be filming on the bottom desk and I had three and I moved a bunch of stuff? Well, I changed my mind about that because um, I put all the books that were in the middle back on the bottom and I'm going to be filming up in the middle shelf because I got this beautiful boy right here. Um, well, it's not like mine. My dad got it and he's letting me use it because he makes YouTube videos too for his work. But yeah, so he lets me use this and it's super nice. Super cool. I also got a microphone. Wait, if it works. Um, you probably hear me touching it, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so I really, once again, I, once again, I hope you guys enjoy those clips. And now I'll be showing you guys a couple of things that I got. So first we're gonna start off with like the non-LPS, like LPS itself, themselves, like the other things. So uh, 
just show you guys them. And don't mind the background, okay? I was playing LPS just Mary. So first I went to LPS Hannah and I got this super cute, hold on. I got this super cute um, LPS Hannah post, not postcard, but I guess you could say picture that she took. Um, so people were lining up um, to like, you know, take a picture with her. She gave me a hug and I was just like, oh my gosh, I just hugged LPS Hannah. But uh, yeah, I hugged her, we took a picture, and um, she also was giving out these for free for a couple people. And this is ob this is honestly so cute. And I think her name is Amy. I don't remember because I haven't watched the series in a while. I um, I didn't watch the fourth episode yet, but hopefully I can soon, later. I don't know. It's kind of long, but. Yeah, I got this. I think her name is Amy. I don't know. And it's signed LPS Hannah with a heart. How cute is that? And right here, it's just a little, like, thank you for meeting me at LPS Hannah West 2019. A little thank you coupon. Everything like that. So she gave this out for free to a couple people who were lining up. And obviously, when you go, you go and get the LPS Con name tag. I'm covering this part because it has my name on it, but it says both days premium. It's LPS Mountain Flower that I don't want to flip it around anymore because my name is on there and I don't want you guys to see it because you know, I'll reveal that when I'm like a lot older not a lot older but just older when my dad lets me all right so now I'll be showing you guys all of the pets and accessories that I got let's get started with all the pets that I got so first we got these two skirts we have this one the girl paint, the, who had it painted black and it was sticking gross and I didn't like it so I tried to take it off but it didn't fully come off so I scratched it in off the places so it was like the black was supposed to be there. I really love it. And then we got this one and I've always wanted LPS skirts so that's why I was looking for one. I, I remember I traded this one away for an LPS um, foam that I made. Next we have um, these LPS skirts. Got, I'm so happy. These two so the girl who traded this to me, thank you so much. I love it so super much. Cute. I just, I just got this super cute little purple one. I got this little cape. I think it's a cape. I'm pretty sure it's a cape. The girl who had it, she said she was as a bandana, but I think they use it as a cape for like maybe greyhounds or elephants, like thin necks. So really adorable. And then um, what Replay Toys is like a store, and they have a bunch of LPS. And the lady um, who worked there, she brought stuff from her store, Replay Toys, and she was selling stuff. And the LPS were way too expensive in my opinion. It was like ten dollars for like a simple LPS. Like it was too expensive for me. But I bought some accessories. So let's just show you guys the accessories that I bought. So I bought these five accessories and they're 50 cents each, which I think is a good price because people sell accessories for like $2, which is like, no thanks. So they're 50 cents each and I bought five. It was supposed to be 2 50 but I said I only had two, so the lady said that's totally fine. So first we got these super adorable headphones. Like, what the heck? How cute are these? So cute. Got this police hat and why can't things get any more cuter? Like, look how cute that is. Super adorable. Got this little clip on like flower. I use it as like a bouquet of flowers, like when they're holding flowers, the LPS, because it fits on some arms. It has to fit on like a specific LPS with like a really small ear. I'm not sure which LPS fit. Got this one. This was the only necklace I saw, necklace slash collar I saw, and I'm like, I need this. So it's super adorable, little like pink collar, very pretty. And I got this little felt hat. Um, one of the rubber bands actually broke. It was supposed to be on both sides, but I think like it's really old, so it's like aging. So I think I'm just might like once this snaps, I'm just gonna um, sew on some new rubber bands. And I really want this for like a Great Dane or like a collie, like a boy collie, because it looks so cute. So those are all the things that I bought for $2. All right, so the first three that I got were these three greyhounds. I'm not showing you guys any order of what I traded. $2. I don't remember at all. Like, okay, I got this one first, I traded this one first, and this one second, this one third. Like, I don't know, I don't know. And so we have this super cute yellow greyhound. Very cute. And he's got these little like blue teardrops I guess you could say. We have this one which isn't a super common one. These two are more com these two are more common but this one isn't a super common one and I love this one so much. She's so cute. She has a little bit of neck rest that I couldn't get off. I already washed these pets guys just so you know so I don't have to clean them off. Like if they're still dirty that's because they're permanent. And I got this one and I knew nobody else was gonna get it because you know the ear is eaten off. And this is a super common greyhound but I got him because I wanted to use him as a custom base and it was a fair trade for being like half eaten. So I'm going to make him like, ha I'm going to shave this so it's more smooth and then kind of, I think I'm gonna, it's either going to, I'm going to put like netted tight around it to make it look like he's got a bandage around his head or like find a piece of cloth or something. 
and make it and then make it look like half his ear is eat, went, was eaten and then make him have scars everywhere. It's gonna be like a, like he was in a dog fight. I'm also gonna have one make make him have a scar on his lip. Whoops, because um like he has a piece too bit like eaten off his lip. So I am so excited to paint this guy. Next we got this bonbon kitty, which is so cute. I actually, this one actually has a lot more scuffs. It's like Sharpie, but this is so cute. It's nice like Next blue we have color. This flamingo, which is the first trade I made. Yellow and I love. I actually don't know if it's so little. She looked about like nine or ten. And the maybe. red LPS logo, like eight, nine, eight or nine. nine. And um, I traded an ostrich for this. So cute, so snazzy too. Aww. I love flamingos, and I've always wanted one for some reason. Next we have this Chihuahua, and I'm actually um, not super, super loving this, but I still do love it. It's still pretty cute, and I love Next these little we have little this kangaroo, eyes. she's got like a scuff on her nose, to be honest, guys. But it looks like orange His movies? face reminds Maybe me like of they mustard. put Sharpie on it so much. Like, this yellow and this yellow reminds me of mustard for some reason. I don't know. Whenever I look at him, I look at him like my little brother has like a mustard on his face for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Super cute, he's got a chip on the nose. A lot of these aren't in best condition, but that's totally fine. Fine. Next I got this super adorable corgi. I love the corgis, they're so Next, cute. Next we have and this, this like so super rare dopey, walkable, I and I knew nobody else dopey. was gonna he take a walkable, like dopey, like obviously. Because nobody likes walkables, <laughs> but this is actually a, pr a super rare walkable. Because first off, it's limited edition, and this one is so rare. I I don't know, but it's just super rare, and I'm really happy to have it. Um, yeah, because it's a ferret, and I know this one is rare because I've never seen him anywhere, and it's limited edition. And I didn't know this before. Like I didn't care if it worked or not, but it actually does work. He works pretty well. Like he's brand new. Maybe they just never used the button. The button. Or maybe he was new in box and they just took him out. So, very cute. Next, we have these two deer. And I actually brought a cat, an LPS cat that my sister didn't want. She really wanted an LPS deer which was this one, and I got it for her, so we're not gonna really talk about this one because this is not mine. This one, oh my gosh, it is so cute. I am loving this girl to death. And I saw this one, two people had this one new in box with her baby, it's mommy and baby set, and I wanted it so bad, but I didn't have any good LPS, any good LPS because I had gotten rid of all my good LPS the first day. And I, I think what I love about her is like the dark brown and then the cream around her eyes and the blue just makes it stand out so much and it just looks so cute. And her feet are glossy, Next, which is I got actually this kind of limited cool. edition cat. And I'm really happy about it because she is also pretty rare. I really want to look up her new in box because I always like seeing, I always like to look up like, oh, when I get no piece of the swap me, I want to see what it looks like new in box just to see, you know, super adorable. It reminds me of like, I don't know, like those Japanese, it's either Japanese or Chinese, like cats. Like those yellow cats that move their paw up and down. This reminds, it looks exactly the same, like in the same position. Really pretty too. Next I got another super rare LPS. Not super rare, but he's pretty rare. Um, this one came in a Blythe set, and I'm not sure what kind of bear this is. I think it's a honey bear. That's ac that's actually a type of bear. I'm not sure though. It could be like a grizzly bear, but look how cute those little details are. It looks like he's got like hairy arms. Like how cute. 
is that because some bears have like ha long hair on their arms. Next we have this sheep. And I love this one guys, so much. And I actually took a little I, I'm photograph sorry if I keep saying one. how cute is this? So cute. cute. I love this one so much. Angel I'm wings sorry. and then a bow. Got this oh. super cute. I just said it again. Super cute. I just said it again. The sheep. Let's just call it a sheep. Okay. Very simple sheep. I just, I, I, I keep doing it. What's wrong with me? Next, we got these two puppies, and I was literally on the hunt for LPS puppies. I, I don't know why. First, we have this husky, and I've officially, like, already named him, and it's a boy, and I named him Alan. Do you like that? This is a little boy, even though he has eyelashes. I like it as a boy, and his name is Alan. And then we have this little puppy right here. I think I'm gonna name her Alice very cute i think this one might be rare a little rare because we got super this rare, cool dude <laughs> this yeah one has so scuff i actually nose. named like mr weird, hello like, scuff on the eye i made him walk into a class and i made like i was playing lps and he was the teacher of the school and i made him walk in he's like hello class like i don't know why we saw we thought it was maybe my sister thought it was so funny so his name is mr hello now and he's also a pretty rare lps because the glasses aren't super common. I mean, the parrot one is super common. The seal is not so common. The monkey is like pretty rare. So I'm really, <coughs> I choked there. Um, I'm really happy about this little guy. He's super cute, Mr. Hello. Oh. Next we have this German Shepherd and I wanted him for so long. I'm so happy I have him. Like how cute is he? And he had all this like weird stuff like right over here. I couldn't get this part off. I'm probably gonna try and get it off more. But yeah, I have wanted him for so long. And the second time I'm like, I need him. Because I've had him and I got rid of him at a garage sale that I had. And then I'm like, why? And nobody took him. And I'm just like, why did I do that? So I've been looking for him ever since. And I'm super next. We got this Basset Hound. And I'm trying to collect all the LPS Basset Hounds because they are so cute, guys. Like, so cute. I think this is the second, this is the second, I think, I think this is the second most common Basset Hound. Um, there's a, another really common Basset Hound. Um, yeah, I love their bodies. Their bodies are so cute. And this one is gonna be Alex. Yeah, I already planned a name for this one. So this is Alex, it's a girl. She's got little bows. I just think it's so cute. Next we have this duck. No, I'm kidding, it's a platypus. This super adorable platypus very just simple platypus they're not super common i think there's only three um this one there's the brown one that's like you send in little cards for mail and then i think there's a musically talented one like a blind bag musically talented one i'm not sure but this one is next we have these three horses and come on screen focus focus thank you all right so first we have this one and she had all of this that the purple one just wants it just wants to focus on the purple all right so um she originally like the person who had her like painted white all over her and i knew that i could take it off because i like tried to scratch it off and it came off so it didn't fully come off i think i'm gonna do a second wipe down to get rid of the rest um i love this one so much and i'm trying to collect a lot of lps horses because i want to make an lps movie with like a horse herd so this one is very adorable, and I've wanted her for actually a long time. Then we have this one, super simple gray LPS with like these really pretty eyes. She has like this weird like scuff. I think they like tried to remove it with nail polish remover or something, because it looks way too perfect to be a scuff. This one's actually in really good condition. Whoa, we're just gonna move these away. And then we got this super cool dude. Like, whoa, he's got some nice hair, and usually the fluffy lps like their hair is like like their fur is like matted down and kind of gross but this one is actually in really good condition like the plastic is in good condition but then the hair it's still super fluffy i mean not like super super fluffy like when you first get it but it's still pretty fluffy and it's not matte down there wasn't there's another one that i really wanted it was like this cream horse and it had like the brown hair, but it, the hair was so matted down, it was kind of like really disgusting. There was only two people that had that one, and I think there was only one person that had this one, and I, and I took it. So I love him so much, and I've always wanted this one. 
so I'm really happy. We're down to five more. Next we have this Jack Russell. Very cute. This is a little boy in my opinion. Next we have this Husky. And it took me a while to, to trade this one. I think. No, yeah. A little while. But I actually really love this one. It looks very pretty. And it's got like this little like flower on the side. But in my opinion it's going to be a boy. Because he looks very cute. And he's got like this weird like, I don't know what it is. It's like Maybe they like tried to cut his nose off. I don't know. Very cute. Very cute. Next we have this bulldog and oh my gosh, I love it so much. I've always wanted a bulldog and I finally have her and I'm just so happy. And out of all the LPS I got, this is my mom's favorite. She's like, that is a wrinkly dude. I love him. And I love him too, or her. It is just so cute. I don't know why. I think it's just the wrinkles and the big body and that, that face. Look how cute that face is. But um, yeah, I'm really happy about this one. And I really want to collect the last two of like the normal LPS and then I have a couple customs. We have this one, which is the G5 Great Dane. Um, it was a new LPS, so I knew they're not going to like be like, I'm kind of attached to him. I mean, some people were attached to their G5s, but that's okay. Um, he has this little chip on the nose and then this little like, scuff right here. And the little paint came off, but that's totally okay because he's a new OPS and we don't really care if they get scuffed or not. And then lastly of the LPS is this. Um, I think it's a Weimaraner. I'm pretty sure he came in a daddy and baby set, actually. And a little baby puppy and it came with a little mailbox. I've always wanted that set. But I, but um, the Target that I go to, they literally never have LPS. But Walmart has a ton of LPS. So Hasbro, where are the LPS? Like they're not at Target anymore. Like there's only like five sets and that's it. And they're all the same. Which is kind of disappointing. Oh no, this isn't the last one. Oh my gosh, okay, the la best is for last. Like of normal LPS when I have a couple customs. And then the last one we got is this one. Oh my gosh, it's a Collie. I'm so happy I got her. Um, in my opinion, it wasn't a fair trade. No, well, no, okay, start that over. So this girl, she had this one and the gray one and I really wanted both of them. And I'm like, what would you trade for either of these? She's like, I'll trade for this one. And then she looked at my LPS bin and she took out the purple LPS Dalmatian and she was like, I'll trade this one. I'm like, are you serious? And I'm like, are you sure you want to trade this? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, do you think this is a fair trade? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. So I got this call and I'm so happy that I have her. So cute. And I named her Avery. <laughs> I named her Avery. Yeah. What was that? And unfortunately her head is broken, but I don't really care. Um, I think the girl, maybe she just didn't care about popular pets, because she knew, like, she said this, like, all the popular pets in a different section, and I guess she knew about them, like, their popular pets, but she, maybe she just didn't care or not, maybe she just didn't really care, you know, maybe she was just like, oh, they're another LPS, even though I know they're rare, but I, I don't really care, so I'm really happy I have her, so, thank you. Alright, now we have some customs, so first one we have is this one and I love this one so much so cute and the person who used who um, made her she used a satin finish and it feels so nice I love it and that flower is so pretty like if I try to make a flower it would probably not end well and this is such a good custom and I love the eyes are so good so whoever made this you are have an amazing talent right there right there Next, we have this little guy right here, super cute Timberwolf. Um, he had these little like chips everywhere and I didn't even know. I thought there was part of his design, but it's not. So I'm gonna repaint that little spot right there. He is a bit like tacky. So I think I might like spray him with like a varnish. I'm, I'm buying a varnish so I can spray all my LPS. Like not spray, but like paint a varnish over all the custom so they don't get ruined because this one is really like tacky and like if you press your nail into it it makes a mark so before he gets any more ruined I'm gonna fix him up 
He has this little glitter, which just adds a really nice touch. And then next we have uh, this one, which his head wasn't on, and um, yeah. But unfortunately, like, the girl who had him, I didn't know, she probably didn't have any Mod Podge. So I think what she tried to do was, like, put glue on, and it got, it ran down, and it was really messy, and I got him anyways, because I thought he was cute, and maybe I was thought, thinking maybe I could fix him, but the girl tried to, like, like, the peg broke, and it's still inside, and I don't know, it looks like it's melted inside. I think she tried to glue it on, but it, the head came off, so if I can't fix this, then I'm going to have to toss the head, just throw him in the bin, and then keep the body um, so I can do like a head swap because Great Dane bodies are always, because bodies are always good if you want to do head swaps. The, the head is unfortunately too messed up with this glue everywhere. I could try and like, I don't know, like scrape it off, but it'll probably ruin the LPS. So I think if it doesn't work, I'm going to chuck him. So I'm really sorry if you made this custom and you loved him. I'm really sorry, but he's ruined and I can't fix him. So, sorry, but, yeah, like, if you cared about him, if not, then, all right, that's fine, but if it doesn't work out, then, unfortunately, he'll have to be tossed in the bin. Unfortunately, he'll have to be tossed in the bin. And then, last one we have is this one. I love him so much. Um, I put this on him because I loved it. So, originally, when I got him, I already knew this. And I loved him so much. I saw him and I'm like, I need them. I need him. Um, his eyes were unfinished. He only had the white and the dark green on this side and the white and the dark blue on this side. So I decided that I was going to finish this for her. And yeah, like, or not finish it for her, but just finish it. And I'm really happy about it because, you know, he's super cute and I love him so much. And, you know, I love this little thing because, you know, it's, I don't know, because I was playing and I pretend like he got, like, like, a bomb went off. Not a bomb, but, like, an explosion went off and he got hurt. So, I was playing it. I almost forgot. I painted an LPS and he's up there. It's that Great Dane right there. If you can't see him, well, that's too bad. Sorry, that was kind of rude. But, um... It was a fake, but I customized him because I wanted him to be customized. He's that little blue dot up there. I can't move, so, yeah. So, yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully, I can go to LPS Con West Coast 2020 next year. That would be amazing. Next year, I'll probably buy a booth as well. So, I love you guys all so much. Wow. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe to my channel. Love you guys all so much. Thanks for watching these videos, and hopefully I can go to LPS Con next year. <laughs>